when I'm grappling with um, an emotional issue or a relationship problem, what your nutshell um, offers is that we can hope to understand the cause of the problem and all the factors, but we don't need to understand it. What's more important yeah. is to accept what is rather than to be able to draw a diagram of, of all the uh, all the things that are contributing to your problem. We have to keep moving forward and we need to learn as we go what kinds of things get us stuck. And um, and it's and it's, and it seems kind of counterintuitive to tell people that basically one of the things that can get us really stuck is the, the believing that you need to understand uh, everything about whatever it is you're experiencing, what the problem is. It's like, of course, that's I mean that sounds like a, it's a very valiant thing to want to do. It's like like to to understand it and 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 and. But I make the distinction between wanting to understand it and and when and if and listen to your own thinking or listen to your own words when you're talking to somebody. If you know, because our words will 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 betray what we really think. And a lot of times, what we'll say is, "I need to understand this." Is in the, in the I think the the piece you were talking about that you had read is is uh, was me connect, uh, corresponding with with someone who contacted me with the, the that she needed to understand before she could move forward. She needed to understand everything. And what I was what I was saying to her, what I say often to people is, no, it's good to want to understand, and we need to stay open to that kind of thing. But we don't. But and this is this is a very very um, this, this is a very emotional sobriety you know kind of 101 um uh concept here which is is be beware of that expectation that i'm not because ultimately what we're saying is is if i don't understand how uh, how i got to be the way i am right now or why i act this particular way or why i think this particular way uh then i'm not going to be able to get any better it's like, that's not true. The more, if you understand the problem, if you understand the problem, what the problem is, if I'm, if I'm being a way that I'm, where I'm not being responsible for myself in some way, or if I'm being uh, difficult in a relationship in some way, mistreating somebody or, or not taking responsibility for something, I do, you know, it, it, it's fine to, to explore. And I think it's good to explore. I'm not saying don't, don't ignore, you know, understanding. I'm just saying that goes into the preference category as opposed to the required category. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I can't help but apply it to some recent struggles that I've had. Um, just trying to have a better relationship with my girlfriend, trying to improve our mm -hmm. communication and mm -hmm. just not knowing how to fix it like not knowing how to fix myself, not knowing how to communicate what I really feel or what I mean, and earnestly trying to, but failing at that. And yet the show must go on. I need to find a way to do another day of being a good boyfriend and, and having this connection mm -hmm. and making it a good connection. I could add, regardless of how much you understand about how you got to be the way you are or why this is such a problem or why this is such a difficult problem, for instance, sometimes we'll get we'll get baffled by that. Uh, re regardless of your your lack of understanding about that, you, you you are still completely capable. And what you're saying is that's your that's what you're doing in practice of making changes, becoming better. The point is, yeah, you work on on making the changes that are going to help you be better in the relationship, and and you stay open to understanding. You understanding comes. It's like this is, and and I probably say this. I'll probably say this more than most anything on, on our podcast, you know, the best insight, you know, and, and, and maybe the only accurate insight is, is, is high comes with hindsight. See, we have this, our conscious minds are so, so picky. They, they want to understand everything while it's happening. You know, I have a, I have a little one liner in my office that says, you don't have to understand what's going on while it's going on. You know, and people don't like that. We like to understand. Well, you know, is it fair to say that the um, everybody, you know, on a certain level, everybody uh, has a problem with life. Everybody grapples with a, with their own yeah. particular issues. But the people mm -hmm. that have the most success, I feel like, at traversing life's challenges are the ones that uh, don't prioritize the understanding <laughs> as Highly, right? As maybe somebody yeah, like as, me. Well, that's as, why. I, well, I think I. I don't. I mean, that's a that's a pretty huge. That's a pretty big generalization. So I don't know if that if that would pan out across the time. But my personal experience with that is yes. When when I don't, you know, 
when I when I don't put and what I would say is when I don't put understanding at the top as the top priority, it's not even that it's not a priority is you know, we like to, we do understand, you know, I mean, there's a tremendous uh, benefit to us understanding. But the, uh, and and I and I hadn't thought about this until this this conversation just now. But this is where that hindsight is the best insight really helps, because the idea is what I need to recognize sometimes is I'm not going to understand that in the best way possible right now. But if I look at my history, you know, I realize after a while, I'll be able to look back at what I'm going through right now and I'll be able to explain it. I'll understand it. Usually I can. Yeah. 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 And if, you know, and as, as we've said before, you know, God, God, God doesn't flunk anybody, but he gives a lot of retests. So it's like, if you don't get it, you'll, you'll know, because you don't, you don't get a failing grade in this universe. You just get another test. And the acceptance that you referred to in this nutshell is um, that's just the acceptance of not knowing the full picture or not knowing that uh, until you have the hindsight, you're not going to really be able to yeah. get a three-dimensional view of it. It's acceptance. Yeah. It's acceptance of what is real, what we know, what we have. It's it's like, it's, and, and what I want people, you know, first of all, accept, yeah. Acceptance is such a key factor. Um, you know, you know Rod, Roger in the Thursday night group talks about this so much. It's like, and, and one of the things I've, I've gotten from Roger Andes with about this is that I've, I've always understood or I've understood for a long time the power of acceptance, but but he's helped me put it in a different, there's a different sentence I use now, which is that I got from him. Acceptance is always the first step to change. So the idea is, and I think of it quite simply is, is if I want to get from here to where you are, it's not enough that I know where you are. I need to know where I am or else I'm not going to be able to find my way there. So, and we need to understand, we need to, we need to accept the fact that, yeah. And if, and if that includes, I don't understand something at this time. Okay. So you don't, does that mean you, that that, what you were saying before in your relationship, does that mean I don't need to, to, to make efforts to do better? Nope. It doesn't mean that at all. It actually means, it means the opposite. You need to keep doing that in spite of not understanding.